Here's how you can connect the Apple Pencil USB-C version to your iPad. You only need two things for this and first is a compatible iPad model and here are the list of compatible models as of the moment. If the model of your iPad is not listed here, you can always check the iPad user guide and check the Apple Pencil compatibility section to make sure. And the other thing you need is the USB-C cable which came with your iPad. So to pair your Apple Pencil, connect one end of the cable to the iPad and the other to your Apple Pencil. Once paired, you will see this banner. You can also check if it has been successfully paired in the Bluetooth settings and you will see the Apple Pencil in the list of connected devices. Whether the Apple Pencil is connected through the USB-C cable or not, as long as they're already paired, you can use the Apple Pencil to operate, write, or draw as normal. If you are having problems with connecting the Apple Pencil, make sure that the iPad's Bluetooth is turned on and if that doesn't work, check the iPad software if it is updated. You can check this in the settings under General. Once the Apple Pencil and the iPad are paired, the cable can now be disconnected. But if you want to charge your Apple Pencil using your iPad, you can just leave it plugged in. You can also charge it using the power adapter of the iPad. Now if you want to check the battery percentage of your Apple Pencil, you can go to the settings. Then in the Apple Pencil option, you will see here the remaining battery the paired Apple Pencil has. Another way to keep track of the Apple Pencil's battery is through a widget in the home screen. If you currently don't have one, tap and hold on the empty space in the home screen, then tap the plus icon. Find the batteries option and here you can choose what size the widget you want to have. Then tap Add Widget. Then you can customize it whatever way you want. If you're not using the Apple Pencil, you can magnetically connect it to the side of your iPad. But unlike the other Apple Pencil versions, your Apple Pencil will not charge through here. And also keep in mind that the Apple Pencil will stay connected to your iPad unless you purposely forget the device in the Bluetooth settings. It will also be temporarily be disconnected if the Bluetooth is turned off but it will automatically connect the next time the Bluetooth is turned on as long as it has been paired before. The Apple Pencil will also stay connected to the iPad until you turn off your iPad or pair it with another iPad. If this happens and you want to connect the Apple Pencil to your iPad again, just connect it using the USB-C again as what I have demonstrated earlier. If you have other questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And this is Kazel and until next time, bye!